How's it going, college basketball fans? This is Maddie D with College Basketball Eye Test, and today we are joined by Michael Covill of the Winthrop uh, University. Uh, Winthrop being a tournament team this year, very excited to dive into this team and get some firsthand insight on a team that uh, may be mysterious to some folks watching college hoops nationwide, but um, those of us who watch college has basketball closely um, know to really take notice of and pay attention to. So. Michael, first, if you can kind of explain um, what type of fan are you? Uh, so um, I'm a I'm a junior um, I'm a junior at Winthrop, but I also work in the athletic department um, with a part time job. So I don't I I don't I've only missed one home game in my in my guess my three years now. Um, COVID aside, I also travel to um, to away games any, anything within within a few hours. So I mean, if, if, when it comes to Winthrop basketball, I mean I'm I'm there. Okay, and so the, the name of our of our blog is collegebasketballitest.com. So we're all about the eye test. So can you give, uh, and everyone, this NCAA tournament is going to be watching the games on television. No one will be watching in person. So if you could just kind of write the script of a co- coming attraction of, of what all of those eyeballs will be watching nationally when it comes to Winthrop basketball, what does that preview kind of, kind of look like? You're going to be watching a team that can score a lot of points. They play really, really fast. We rebound the ball pretty well. I think we're, I think we're, we're near the top, or if not at the top of the uh, of the Big South in rebounding margin. Our one flaw is we do have we do have a, an issue. Um, we do turn it over at a, at a decent clip, but we also force a lot of turnovers too, which helps to kind of balance out. And they're a lot better defensively than than, than they maybe look. Um, if you look at the numbers, it seems like we give up. Well, at least we give up 70, 75 points a game. But um, we do. We're top five in the uh, in the Big South in, in, in turnover market. So even though we do give up a lot of points, I think maybe compare us to uh, to an Alabama who's, who's got an above average defense but does give up a lot of points. Uh, we play a lot of we play a lot of the same way. We know we shoot the ball well, we score well, we play fast. And even though we do give up a lot of points in a lot of possessions, we do defend we do defend pretty well. And I'm, especially um, you know outside the paint. Now. So, who is your favorite player currently on on the team? Oh man, that's a tough question. I've actually been asked that uh, a couple times this year, but um, I guess I'll go. One of my one of my you know typical game day tweets is I always say that I'm a big fan of Kelton Calford. Um, he's one of our our, our, um, our freshmen this year. He's a freshman from uh, from Great Falls, which is a, a local high school. Um, so he's had a really good season. I've become a really big fan of him. And actually, uh, as we speak here over my shoulder, I'm checking out uh, some of the highlights that are posted to Winthrop Athletics YouTube channel. So is is that you behind the camera then? Um, no, that's not me. Um, I'm, I run an independent fan page, I guess would be uh, the term for it. I do some stuff with the social um, and the athletic department sometimes. I'm actually working the uh, the softball channels um, for their games this weekend, but that's uh, that's totally not me. <laughs> you can follow me on um, Twitter and Instagram um, at Winthrop Live, or you can follow my personal zone, which is at Real and Coble. Um, I also do um, I also run a, a blog, which I don't keep up with um, super regularly. Um, it's called uh, Winthrop Away. You can search it on Blogspot. Um, I'm really a big fan of like stadiums and arenas and just traveling around and seeing different uh, campuses and that sort of thing. So whenever I go to a new place, I always like to, you know write about it and just tell people, you know, what to expect if you ever go to a game um, at those places. So tell us about your current coach. I know conditioning is a big part of what, what he does on, um, on offense and with the program. Why don't you introduce um, some, some people who are not familiar with Winthrop basketball who, to the coach and kind of give us a, a little background about the philosophy there. Yeah, Kelsey's um Kelsey's a really interesting guy. Um, super energetic, you know, a lot of energy, um, and a big thing this year has been just how deep, um, how deep the team is. You don't see a lot of teams in college basketball that can run 12 or even 13 or 14 players deep. But Kelsey, he gets so many guys in and out of the um, of the rotation, and it's something that's really helped us this year too. I think um, with the with the way that the Big South has done the schedule with the with the back to backs and everything, is you see a lot of our games we haven't really blown teams out, but we've really worn on on teams, and it speaks to our conditioning and how deep we are. That you know. Some games were kind of close early on, uh, Presbyterian being one of those that was close in the first half. But as the second half of that game wore on, and as we got into the second game of the back-to-back, you know, you, you really started to uh, – our conditioning and just how deep the roster is, uh, it started to show. And, I, I, and another guy who, who draws headlines nationally is going to be Chandler Vaudrin at point guard, um, the senior from the Cleveland area. Um, he, you know, he's a guy that you have to love just from the standpoint that he, he literally doesn't have to score to really impact the game the way he sets 
Um, he sets his teammates up. You know, we're, um, we, we basically missed Peyton Pritchard playing college basketball at Oregon in his senior year. And I think a lot of people were looking forward to um, him leading a team to, to a Final Four. I feel like Chandler Vaudrin kind of has some elements of that game where he can really have an impact on offense just in terms of, you know, penetrating, driving. He's, he's able to score. He may be a reluctant scorer at times. The one, the one critique that I do have, and I'd, I'd love for you to push back on this, is that I noticed that when, when uh, there's a defender hand-checking him, he's always slapping the, that defender's hand away. Do you think that, that he's going to get away with that in March, during March Madness and kind of elevating uh, w- once he graduates here to the NCAA men's basketball tournament? You know, that's a really interesting, a really interesting question, and, uh, and, I'm, and I'm glad you bring it up. Uh, Chandler, um, we call him a unicorn. He's just such an interesting player. You know, six foot seven. You know, he can dribble. Not a great shooter, but he's and he's not particularly athletic, but he can pass. He can rebound. He just has his hands um, and everything. I, I'd almost compare him to Rajon Rondo, if, if, if from or Prime Rondo, if you remember. Um, you know, he just he's got those long arms. He can pass. He can rebound. He can do so many things, even though he, he's not, even though he's not um, a great shooter, or great or very athletic. But um, when he the, uh, the, the the contact is such a big part of his game. You know, he can post up. It's obviously he's got that size. He can get to the rim. He can finish through contact. So the hand check thing, I'm not sure how that's going to go um, as we get deeper um, into March and into the NCAA what tournament. But um, I would hope that they let that they would let him play a little bit because he is such a contact uh, driven player and he initiates so much contact. It's just, it's just it's just a big part of his game. Well, I give you a lot of credit. The uh, the Rajon Rondo comparison is a lot, lot more on point than my Peyton Pritchard comparison. So I like that a lot. I mean, you know, uh, Rajon Rondo is kind of like the Ben Wallace of the point guard. He can have like an inverse stat line where, you know, he he maybe have 12 rebounds, 15 assists and zero points. You know, that's the kind of stat line you you might see from Chandler Vaudrin and and not be surprised. Um, The one guy who I noticed actually uh, going back a, a one one and a half seasons ago as we're entering into March Madness and Winthrop, Winthrop won their, their uh, conference tournament, a guy who stuck out was uh, the big man, Burns. Um, it, has he regressed this year, or am, it, am I just kind of cherry-picking a few games? I don't feel like he had the impact in, in the nationally televised games that I saw um, as compared to what I saw from him last season in the conference championship game. Uh, no, no, you're definitely not. Uh, you're definitely not cherry picking at all. He just had a weird season. Um, he, early on, he had a couple of games where he really looked himself. I think uh, Arkansas Little Rock was probably the best game he played all year. I don't have his, his stat line in front of me, but um, he played really well in that game. He's had a couple of conference games. He's really liked like himself. Uh, the last couple of games, those two games against Asheville, um, he didn't shoot it well. He, you know, he's really, really good in the mid range. He doesn't initiate a whole lot of contact. He's not super physical for a big guy. Um, but yeah, he has regressed a little bit, and um, maybe that's just conditioning. We don't we don't really know. He hasn't had the uh, the same amount of minutes he had last year. I mean, it could be just a result of how deep the team is compared to last year. Um, we've had we've had other front court options. I mean, Talford um, being one of those is is taking his minutes. So yeah, he's regressed a little bit, but um, he still has the moments where you know he he's back to his old self. It just it just kind of depends on it kind of depends on the game. Asheville. Um, the way their defense was set up uh, played against it pretty well. So. Uh, the one, the one thing that jumps out to me when I watch them as well. Another thing that jumps out is uh, Adonis Arms, um, six six guard. To me, uh, and I'm actually in Lawrence, Kansas. He reminds me of a former KU Jayhawk. I don't know if you're familiar with Brandon Rush, but just in terms of his size, his athleticism, he looks just like the stereotypical. Uh, college basketball shooting guard who can just do a variety of things, guard the floor. He looks like, speaking of conditioning, he looks like a guy who can just run forever, never gets tired. Um, I think I think maybe some defenders on a fast break maybe um, maybe uh, underestimate his athleticism, way, the way he can finish, those sorts of things. Uh, can you talk about Arms' game and kind of what, uh, you know, maybe give us a preview of what some – people watching March Madness might see in, in upcoming highlights of him? Yeah, Adonis is a really interesting, a really interesting player. And he fits right into the, uh, that Winthrop mold. He does a little bit of everything. He's, you know, he's long. He plays the defense. He's athletic. He can get steals. Um, shoots it at a decent, at a pretty decent rate. I think he averages something between 10 and 12 points a game. And he's also, his big thing is he's super athletic. You know, he can make those moves off the dribble. He can get to the rim. And um, there's been a, he hasn't done it at the same rate, I guess, as maybe we were kind of expecting this year. But he's got that just explosiveness when he can get to the rim. I mean, you know, if you don't get out of his way, he's, he's, he, he can put you on a poster. Well, Michael, I really appreciate your time today. Uh, even though I was giving you a hard time with some of the questions, it's, it's all in basketball, the, the love of college basketball. So I appreciate you being a good sport on that. And hopefully, yeah, this, man, hopefully this is the Loyola Chicago 
uh, of, of 2021. I'd love to see them in a, in a final four. I'd love nothing more to see that happen. Yeah, I, I I can't even. I thought about it a couple times, man. If we ever go to a final four, man, I don't I don't even know how. I don't know how I'll handle it. <laughs> well, good luck with your studies. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out for collegebasketballitest.com and uh, enjoy March Madness. Yeah.